Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of Chapter 2, Section 1, in which you need to construct a frequency distribution and then a relative frequency histogram using the data you're given and five classes. So here is our problem, and I'll work it step by step using Excel. First thing I want to do is click on the little icon there, the data table, open it to get the data. I want to click there to copy it to the clipboard. Go to copy. Then I'm going to go over here into my Excel and then paste that data there. I'm going to click done. We're done there. All right. The first thing we need to do is to get some information over there. I'm going to start writing it in. Okay. I've typed in some information we'll need. The number of bins we're given, and that is five. We need to find the minimum value, and I'll use equal min to call up that function. And I need our range of data. Hit enter. So our min is 52. We need the max. Same range. We need to get the actual range. I was misspeaking there. So, whoops, equal max minus min equals 23. The width, we take equal again, take our range, divide by the number of bins, and that gives us 4.6. When we're doing histograms, we always have to round, and we need to round up. So I'm going to go equal, R-O-U-N-D, and there's my roundup function. The number is there, comma, and I want zero decimal places for this problem. Hit enter. So my width is 5. Okay, now we need to start calculating our upper and lower limits. The lower limit is just equal to the minimum value. So I click there. The next lower limit is equal to that minimum value plus the width. That there in D6, I'm going to hit function key F4 to lock it. And that gives me 57 for the lower limit there. Now I can drag this down to get my lower limits for the remaining four bins. My upper limits in the MyStat Lab Larson is to take this second bin lower limit and then minus one since we're dealing with uh, zero decimal places here. That gives me 56 and now I can drag this all the way down and you notice I get a negative there and that's because I don't have anything to subtract from so I always drag it further down and that gives me my lower limits and upper limits, 52, 56, 72, 76. And you can see that matches the classes over here. Okay, we're going to get our frequencies. And to do that, we're going to use the Excel frequency function. It's a special function, an array function. And we start out by selecting the five bins plus one in case there's some additional data. You always select one additional, and the way I remember that is I have to use one additional there in order to get the number of bins. And then I just start typing equal FREQ to call up their frequency function. Click on that. It wants to have the data array. So I'm going to select my data, hold down the control, the put in a comma, I'm sorry, put in a comma, and then my upper limits and I just need the five and then to enter it we've got to go control shift enter and there we get our frequencies 4, 11, 4, 4, 1 and the zero in that overage and you can see that matches the answers over here. So we need to get our total I'm going to use the sum function and add those up and so we've got a total of 24.
the relative frequency is just equal to the frequency divided by the total, and I'm going to hit F4 to lock that, and so that gives me a frequency of 0.1167, now I can drag that down to get my relative frequencies. And so we're going to plot these. I'm going to use the upper bin. I'm going to highlight those, hold down the control key, and then hold down my frequencies. And then I'm going to go to insert, recommended charts. There's a column chart. I'll start with that. And that gives me a column chart. We've got to get rid of the gap, so I'm going to click on one. And it opens up a little menu. We're going to get rid of the gap. I'm going to go there and to the border. And I want it to be black so I can see it. Close this. And there is my histogram. I'm not going to put a title there. Now we can compare with our alternatives, and the best match is over here, Charlie. You can see that our histogram looks like that. So the final question has to be, which class has the greatest relative frequency, and which class has the least relative frequency? Well, the one with the greatest relative frequency is this class there, 57 to 61. I'm just going to highlight that. And then the one with a minimum frequency is this class there. And we'll highlight that. And that's our answers. 57, 61, 72, 76. And that's the correct answer there. So this takes a little bit of time, but you can do it using Excel and it goes faster if you don't have to explain it to someone. So I hope this helps. <laughs>